Hey, what's up, garden friends? Jeff here, Tropical Plant Party. How's everybody doing? I hope you're good. I'm great. And I made a bit of a mess. I always have fans on making noise. It's a lovely day here, and I'm just sitting outside thinking about some stuff I want to plant. I up these two really cool planters from At Home. That's the name of the store. The colors of these pots really drew me in. They have that coral on the side. They're just really, really pretty. I know for this big one, I want to put an oleander in it, which I've already unpotted, and it fell over right there. And then I picked up a hanging basket with all of these really pretty vinca in it. I think they have kind of a cheery, oceany vibe to them. I think that might look cute spilling over the front. And then over here with this one, I don't really know what I want to do. I think I'm just going to throw maybe some of these diamond frost euphorbias in there, and then maybe some petunias, and just kind of have fun with it. Let's do this big one first. Yo, oh, and I prefer to do the big one first because I already tore these poor little vincas out of their pots. They need to get potted up kind of fast. Fingers just kind of rough the sides of this root ball up a little bit. Plop that guy down in there. Kind of scooting this a little bit towards the back of the pot. This isn't going to be visible from all sides, and it'll leave me more of a gap here in the front to put this vinca in. looks good enough to me. Now I just kind of need to make sure that the shrub here straightened out. Oleander shrub and backfill it. Okay and now for this little guy. Also you may have noticed the lighting's changed a little bit because it's the next day. Finished that other one then fell asleep. Nothing exciting happened there. But for the smaller one I'm thinking I'm gonna go with this Iconia begonia and you go there. This Supertunia Bermuda Beach. Really like the flowers on the Bermuda Beach. They're like just a cute kind of pastel-y pink. And I think they'll pink up a little bit more after they've been outside for a while. Okay. And if there's room, hopefully gonna squeeze in one of these Diamond Frost Euphorbias. I don't really see that fitting in there, but I don't know. We'll see. I think these have kind of a fun beachy texture to them. And when this is in more sunlight, it should be more compact and bushy. I don't really think it's gonna fit though. This might just be two plants in this pot. These Iconia begonias are supposed to be a little bit more resilient and easy to grow than some other begonias. Uh, at least in full sun, that is. They're not supposed to be like quite as particular about moisture and things like that. That's the only reason I'm putting it in with a petunia. Normally, I don't pair begonias and petunias very often just because I've noticed that when it's super hot outside. Oh, pardon my scratch. That's from my dog. We were playing. Yeah. So, what was I saying? Oh. Right, so in the past I have noticed that sometimes when I pair begonias and petunias, the amount of water the petunia needs kind of supersedes the amount of water the begonia prefers, particularly during like the scorching heat of the summer. However, last summer I used the Supertunia Vista bubble gums in a few of my planters, one of which was in a pretty shady location. It was near my orchids, and it was in kind of a hard to reach area, so it didn't get watered too terribly much, and that Supertunia Vista bubble gum still grew like crazy. It was a little bit long and light because it didn't have the sun to make it more bushy and full, but I didn't really have to mess with it. So if that characteristic plays through with all of the super tunias, then I think hopefully these will pair well together. Otherwise, a verbena I think would be beautiful in here, but I don't really have any that would play well with these colors. So I have one that's kind of high purple, if that's a color, and one that's um, orange, but it's like a different color orange than these. Does that make sense? It just, it wouldn't look right. And I already have another idea of what I want to do with that verbena. So I won't be doing that. If this pot was bigger, oh, never mind. I was gonna say I could go petunia verbena petunia. Yeah, I don't really think that'd be a good idea. So I'm just going to finish ruffling these roots up a little bit and get this in here. All right, so far I'm liking these colors together. I always love pink and orange. The illumination, or Iconia, I'm sorry, Begonia, it has a nice coral color to it. And the backside of the petals is kind of a rosy pink. I'll get a close up of that when I'm done. Okay, so now the question becomes, is there room for the Diamond Frost Euphorbia? Not really, but I think I'm gonna squeeze them in there anyway. Because these have a habit where they should spill out of the pot and I think it'll be okay. Yeah, I really had to go with the roots to make that work, but I think it should be just fine. All right, look at that. I'm okay with it. I like these colors together a lot. I like that euphorbia. It just adds a texture that I think this really needed. But like I was saying, this begonia might end up squeezing it out. Or hopefully what will happen is this euphorbia will 
come on over the edge. I don't know. We'll, we will see. Okay, now I had also considered using a Calibrac or a Petcoa to go over the front because they don't like quite as much water as a Petunia. So I did go ahead and pick one up. It's purpley and very pretty. Also smells amazing. But uh, yeah, I was looking at the tag. It's a Petunia. Teeny tiny ADB flowers on it. So it must have been pretty cool wherever they forced this into bud. And I kind of feel like the purple would wash out a little bit with the aqua color of the pots. I'm good with the pink. I like orange and pink. Looks good together. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on this, but it should be okay. I'm gonna be keeping it in part sun. Oh, and I didn't really finish this oleander pot either, did I? As a finishing touch to this one, I decided I want to go ahead and kind of just cover the top of the pot with some seashells, some fun little beach rocks. Just gonna go ahead and water these in, clean them up a little bit, talk about what's in here a little bit more. This one, very simple. Vinca's oleander. Nothing complicated there. I would say this one is my favorite though. In the back, Iconia begonia. Unbelievable lucky strike. Love the orangey, pinky, corally undertones that are on the back of the petals of the sky. Like I was saying, these Iconia begonias are supposed to like sun to part shade, evenly moist soil, height of 12 to 16 inches, and spacing 16 to 20 inches apart. Hardy zones 9 through 11. Annual elsewhere. Probably houseplant too. In the front, Supertunia bermuda beach. Lovely pink blossoms with a white sun. Center. They stay short, 6 to 12 inches, spacing of a minimum of 8 inches apart, maximum 12 inches. Annual except zones 10A to 11B. Petunias are heavy feeders, so regular fertilizing would be good, and full sun to part sun. No deadheading necessary. Just another thing I love about the supertunias. And then over here on each side is Diamond Frost Euphorbia. These make a great filler. They have a nice mounded habit. They're good for you until frost. Want to space them 10 to 12 inches apart. Annual except in zones 10A through 11B. Fertilize regularly for best results, full sun to part sun, normal watering needs. Oh, height, 12 to 18 inches. Okay, overall, I'm really loving how these came out, especially this guy right here. It'll be fun to watch these develop and fill out, especially with these vincas and the supertunias are going to be really bright and really cheery. Very happy. Petunia may be a little bit too full for this pot. It may end up kind of overshadowing the pot so in that regard might require a little bit of pruning and trimming but that's no big deal okay but that's gonna do it just some quick fun colorful beachy planters i hope everybody's doing well don't forget to leave a thumbs up it helps the videos a lot and i really do appreciate every single one of them subscribe as well upload multiple times a week comment down below let me know some of the fun things you're doing with your annuals this year and comment down below just for the heck of it i enjoy hearing from everybody i'll link my social media stuff down below down there in the roots of the video you can follow me i'll follow you back and we can look at each other's plant pictures Oh, but most importantly, everybody, as always, keep on growing.